Hey everybody, David Anderson, Mantry Service. Um, just doing some air spading. Um, we've done a lot of air spading this fall. You know, we like to do it when the trees are dormant after they drop leaves or before they leaf out late winter, early spring. Um, usually what we do is we do what we call a root crown excavation. We blow the soil off around the bottom of the tree, which you call the root collar, look for girdling roots, etc. For this particular job, we're working on a number of trees along a driveway, crushed on driveway, so the compaction from the vehicles going back and forth has really crushed the roots on obviously the gravel side of the road. So we're putting some holes in, backfilling that with compost and then crushed stone so it won't sink. Um, and it's called hub and spoke. So, you know, if the tree trunk is the hub, the spokes are these furrows. We try to get these three to six inches deep. We're still working on this one to get a little bit deeper just because it's hard to get through this grass. It's obviously a farm. Uh, and then we backfill this with compost and some wood chips or some old sticks just to try to get some organic matter in the, in the soil. Um, but just trying to save these trees. This is a red oak. There's a handful of red oaks. Most of them are sugar maples. And the sugar maples aren't quite as tough as the red oaks. The red oaks will stand up to compaction and the urban environment. Now granted this is a farm, but being next to a gravel road, it's you know kind of an urban environment where the soil gets compacted because roots need oxygen to function like we do so if their soil is really compacted they won't function properly so just doing some air spading hub and spoke can't wait to come out next spring after these trees leap out and see how they're doing